B has come to the diary room. I wanted to come and see you because I'm feeling a bit, um, funny about Noreen. I've decided that... I just, I think that, well, there's a couple of things. First of all, I lent her this top and she did say, to be fair to her, that she would wash it. And I was like, oh no, don't worry. But it really does smell. I was just think that's rude. <clears throat> but anyway, that's the, that's the least of our problems. You've brought <clears throat> a new person in. I don't know, um, I don't really know many people like Isaac. He's making an effort, um, but he's just a, a weirdo. He's like he's stepped out of American Pie. Apparently, as soon as Isaac walked through the door, she realised that she's head over heels in love with him. Um, and if she's head over the heels in love with him, what the hell was she doing with Sea of Ash? I think that hindsight is a wonderful thing, and I think that Noreen is a selfish attention seeker, and I don't like her at all. I think that her behaviour last night and today has been absolutely despicable. I think that she should be ashamed of herself, and I think that she's really, um, you know, letting herself down completely. Nobody is on her side. Nobody thinks that what she's done um, is justifiable. And, you know, we've been hearing about her ex-boyfriend, but not in particularly favourable terms. And then he comes through the door, and she drops Sea of Ash like a cold bag of sick and is hopping into bed with this frat dude. But if she does love Isaac, I still don't understand why she is being, frankly, such a bitch about the situation. She seems to have no comprehension whatsoever of the embarrassment and humiliation that she's caused Sea of Ash and she just doesn't seem to care. Plus, he seems like a right noddy and regardless of what happens tomorrow, if Noreen goes, I'm not looking forward to having him in the house. He just seems like a big lump of Americanized arrogance. If, if this is the love of Noreen's life, fine. Good luck to her. But in light of her actions and reactions, she is not my friend. And I wash my hands of her completely. She's just a proper little hussy.